What is up, YouTube? Good to get here back out of the My League rebuild. And today, today the challenge is the video does not end until both of my teams make it to the finals. Now, if for some reason that is way too easy because I've never tried this before. So if I make it to the finals with both of my teams, like in the first season or second season, maybe the video won't end until both my teams make it to the finals and win a championship meaning i have to do it twice right i reach the finals with my eastern conference team and my western conference team one of them wins then the other one wins the following season or whenever it happens you know what i'm saying so but the first the first goal is making it to the finals with both teams an eastern conference team a western conference team i will do it randomly make sure to drop a like subscribe if you are new and let's get to it just gonna go ahead not looking at the screen right now looking at you guys and we're gonna stop it one two three the bucks okay i'll click on them for now and then just see what the western conference team is i don't want like some superstar and superstar if one sucks and one's good i'm okay with it i'm okay with it the bucks don't make it a lot the trailblazers we'll rock with it we'll rock with it i got a I got damian lillard and i got a Giannis, which is honestly not too difficult that's dope yes Lillard's a little on the older side now. Damn, the Bucks bench is really, really iffy. Like in the video game, it's kind of doo doo. It's kind of duty, do duty. Dante is the shooting guard at 76 overall. He's fluctuated throughout this throughout this entire like season. Pretty sure he reached like a peak of like 82. I feel like I remember him in the 80s, if not at least at least a 79. But he's 76 right now. He's a 76 at the moment. That is disgusting. Brooke Lopez a 79. Bobby Portis off the bench is at a higher overall. So what do we want to do? Find just an elite center. Plug him in. Try to find. Oh, man. There's a couple moves. Have CPU rebuild. There's a couple moves that definitely need to be made there. The Terrell Blazers. We go out there and check them out. Of course, they have Lillard and McCollum. Powell's kind of nice. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, I don't think uh, Powell's defense is what? Is it okay? It's a B. McCollum's a C minus and a C minus. So the defense isn't the greatest. Covington's out there trying to help that out. Nurkic at an 82. How do I get this team to the finals ASAP? Um, is it going to be difficult? The video does not end until both my teams make it to the finals. I think that's going to be difficult in itself. Are we running a 10 man? We're running a nine man. Always play physical defense for both. Have the best roster. Have the best. Oh, okay. Cole, uh, I was going to say Cole Anthony. What am I talking about? Carmelo Anthony. Nurkic and his canter. Okay, okay, okay. Um, It's a bit of a better bench. I like. Okay, but we have the Greek freak on the other end. So what do I do? Let's focus on the Bucks. I guess I go look. I'm just going to go look in trade finders. What I could get for Brooke Lopez and what I could get. Maybe like Bryn Forbes in there. PJ Tucker. Anybody honestly anybody all right gonna try to do some robbery here we're gonna go with pokushevsky and rob him because he's a 73 we're starting at the start of the 2020 2021 season so he's only a 73 uh by the end of the season i'm pretty sure he's like a 76 or at least going into the next season we're gonna throw in second rounders and then after this we're probably gonna go for one more player that i believe will help us in the future for the bucks um we might just leave our oh my goodness oh my you gotta be out of here no way uh sure just because i know he'll become something really nice oh my god how many seconds you need can i just throw in another player please i might need those seconds for other uh trades um dante's only 23 and he's a good defender he's a good three-point shooter so we might keep him jeff teague take jeff teague off of my hands you give me a 74 a who is gabriel deck no whoops another second rounder still nothing my goodness my goodness all my seconds all my seconds except for one and a first rounder they still said no i would like bull bull as well bull bull is coming we're building a team of demigods on the bucks so bull bull welcome to the team we're giving up rodeons we're giving up Bryn forbes they don't need any of my picks and now i go ahead and go into trade finder instead go all the way to the thunder and see what it takes for pokushevsky to come to my team um because i want him he's young He's going to improve if they, if they have anything. Holiday? I mean, I know Holiday, like, declines right away. But do we need... We could get something better, no? I mean, Pokesh FC is going to be a freak. He'll be he'll reach a 76, then probably, like, a 79 right away. But how fast do I want to make the finals? Because we're thinking about it. I would like to make it with Lillard. And my man Lillard is going to start declining, too. I'm going to get rid of Dante, it looks like. Oh, man. 
man, this hurts. Uh, who's going to be my starting shooting guard? I have no idea, but we're going to do this, and it might even help us this first season. I doubt it, though. I doubt it, though, because look at our Axel to pain. Um, that is rough. That is rough. But I legit want to give them minutes over the guys that are getting minutes right now, so hopefully that helps them improve as well a little bit, actually getting minutes. Uh, Teague. I don't care if you get minutes, bro. We're giving him the bowl bowl. All right, bench is atrocious, but this is what I'm running with. Uh, Ale Axel, I was about to say uh, Alex. He is not playing. We're running a, I guess, Bobby Portis at the four, Lopez at the five, Giannis at the three, Middleton at the two, Holiday at the one. This team could still make it to the finals, especially with the Greek freak. That is the roster that I'm going with year number one. Only because, actually, I should probably get rid of Brooke either way, right? Should probably get, I just don't want to be crazy and overdo it, but I mean, we probably should. Tyrese Halliburton for Yusuf Nurkic. Tyrese most likely going to be top three protected for Maurice Harkless. Can I just throw in second rounders instead, bro? I don't need it to give you a first rounder. You want two, a top 10, and then an unprotected for Hassan Whiteside. Yeah, Whiteside, we might need a center back, but goddamn. Goddamn. Give you Harry Giles. Harry can come back. <laughs> Harry can go back to y'all. You give me, give me Ramsey. What do you guys say? They really, really, really want to yoink away freaking first rounders from me, bro. Take the first. Take the top three protected first. That's fine. We're going to still make it into the fine. I mean, not the finals. The playoffs this first season and seasons to come. And now I can get rid of McCollum and I will probably trade him for a center. I want to do it because I barely go for Nikola Vucevic. So we're going to go for Vuce. My Bulls get McCollum. So I guess it's going to be Levine McCollum starting. Melo at the four? Small forward? Probably the four, and then I don't know what my... I mean, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I'd rather have the big in Nicola as a Bulls fan. Uh, but here we go. Lillard, Tyrese Halliburton, Norman Powell, Covington at the four at the moment, Vucevic at the five. So Cantor is always an elite bench piece in 2K. Tice is a power forward backup. And Fernie, okay, okay. Um, do we want to make that elite or do we want to change it? Do we want to find a better power forward is the question. I'm going for the freaking precious for my boys in Portland. Ennis is gone. Harry is gone. Why am I trading Ennis? I kind of just don't want a backup for Nikola Vucevic. I want Vucevic to get the most minutes. We're going to go ahead to Precious. He is going to go turn into a power forward and 80 overall. Does he start over Covington? I don't know. He does. He's not going to be the greatest perimeter defensive wise, but he will rebound and he will actually score. This is my lineup for my Portland Trailblazers. Lillard, Halliburton, Norman Powell, Precious, Vucevic. And then we got Covington, Daniel Tice, uh, uh, and Fern. I might Covington. Uh, I still don't like this bench. I don't like this bench. This bench most definitely needs work, and we will work on it somehow, some way. Probably find someone on a mid-level exception in the offseason. Trade other first-rounders and other players that we currently have on the squad. And we go from there. And we go from there. Let's make sure we have the best proficiency for this starting lineup. Perimeter-centric. Seven seconds. It's got to be seven seconds. It's got to be seven seconds like it always is. It's one of the best ones, tied with one of the best ones. And now we go over to my Bucks. Defense is looking dirty still. Seven seconds is looking horrible. Defense is looking decent. Ah, oh, man, balanced. I mean, uh, they get a lot. I don't know what to uh, We're going defense, I guess. We're going defense. I don't like it. Uh, we'll see what happens in this first season. But there is my lineup for this team. Which one looks better to y'all season one? Of course, this is just season one. I'm liking, for now, I'm liking the Portland Trail Blazers. Year two, once Pokushevsky improves, once Bull Bowl improves, once I give them untapped potentials. And we go pat year three is going to be interesting. Year three is going to be interesting. I got to see what I want to do with Drew Holiday. I'm going to leave it on this screen. I'm going to pay attention to my Portland Trailblazers. I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. As we go ahead and my Portland Trailblazers are beasting. They're going to be number one. I don't know how we're number two with only two losses right now. We're still number two with two losses right now. <laughs> what? Okay, we'll see how my Bucks are doing as well. Um, we'll see if we can beat those Nets uh, in the East. We'll see if we can beat the Lakers and everybody else in the freaking West. The Bucks are number two in the Eastern Conference. My Portland Trailblazers were number one through like the halfway of the, the season. So I don't know if they stayed up top, but we are power rank five, which is kind of iffy for the Bucks. LeBron James wins another MVP here. LaMelo, Rookie of the Year, six man Spencer. Yeah. Giannis, defensive player, Christian Wood, most improved coach of the year, Terry Stotts, my, my Blazers, my Blazers are being uh, great, are being great, Lillard makes an all-NBA first team, Giannis makes an all-NBA first team as well, so they're both out here, what about their supporting cast, what about their supporting cast, does anybody make another team, Drew Holiday makes a defensive team, which is understandable there, and I believe that's it. 
And Tyrese, of course, makes an all-rookie second team. It says he's an offensive threat, 83 overall. Portland finishes second. Damn. From number one to second. So both our teams finish number two. Interesting to see there. We go ahead, stats and standings, team standings. The Lakers beat me by one game. By one game, what about our offenses? Our offenses were number four with Portland, and I don't think the Bucks are up there because we focus on defense. They're 115 a game. Probably the best defense, though. The Bucks with the best defense, the Blazers with the third best defense. And differential-wise, it is the Blazers. That's why we have power rank number two for them, and then that's why they have power rank number five, I'm guessing. But yeah, the second best team in the league and the fifth best team in the league. Tied with the 76ers for the Bucks. 32 a game for our guy Damian Lillard with 11 assists. God damn, shooting 50, 40, 95. Vucevic, 19 points, 12 rebounds. Precious, 18. Like I said, he could score. Eventually, he'll rebound like a madman as well. But he's got help here for now with 12 from Nikola Vucevic. Norman Powell, 15 as well. Tyrese could definitely improve, but he's helping the assisting, the stealing, and he does not shoot bad. He does not shoot bad. The bench could definitely use an improvement. Of course, Covington always doo-doo, 38%. And then Dwayne Denman, 4 and 4.7. So it's not horrible. Not the best. Do we get to the finals? I don't know. I think it'd have to involve quite a bit of luck here instead of just our team being OP. Here is the Bucks, 28 for Giannis, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, a block and a half. Middleton, 20.5 points. Well, 20.6 actually, 1.2 steals. And then a little bit of rebounding, a little bit of assisting. Holiday. Holiday's probably gone. Holiday's probably gone. Bobby's probably... Actually, he's probably the last season here. He's got the option to leave, which he will most likely leave. Brooke Lopez, we will trade. So, Brooke, Drew, gone. Uh, Pogosevsky is going to improve in this offseason. Hopefully, Bowl improves in this offseason as well. And we got ourselves some a couple of young, nice pieces. We'll focus on finding a shooting guard. Uh, a point guard, for sure, is what we will most likely need. So it's going to be a little bit tougher, I think, for the for the Bucks. believe it or not. Just probably going to simulate game by game on the other end. <sighs> Bucks lose. Bucks lose game one. Bucks lose game one. They take game two. And over here, Portland is having zero issues. Oh, no. We're going to lose over here by my Bucks my bucks to the heat there we go bring it back from a 3-1 they do not we lose in round one this might be a lot harder than i thought we'll see though we'll see though but i guess this one doesn't matter anymore if portland makes it portland makes it get to the conference finals we lose out to the lakers the lakers lose out to the 76ers time to make our teams better and beat and 76ers win it damn okay Okay. Gotta reinvent my bench for the Portland Trailblazers. I don't want Covington because of his inefficiency. So we're going to go ahead and bring in DeAnthony Melton. Why not? We'll give up Covington. DeAnthony, what, 23 years old, which is honestly really, really nice. Covington, see you later. If he improves, he improves. Now we go on to the Bucks uh in this offseason in this draft right now we got a second overall pick which we really don't need and i guess we go see before drew holiday declines what we could get for my man either a point guard either a shooting guard shoot even a small forward if we move middleton to the two to the four move Giannis to the center spot we got options pascal for drew holiday straight up what do they say they want my second rounders we will bring in pascal i'm okay with it one of them is going to be running center. One of them is going to be running uh, uh, power forward, clearly. Bobby, probably gone now. Brooke Lopez, we'll see what I could get as well right now and revamp this bench. We'll have Bowl off the bench at the center power forward. We'll either start uh, Pokrushevsky at the small forward and move Middleton to the two if we don't find one. But we clearly need a point guard. And yeah, a point guard. Right now, most importantly, a point guard, I would say. So if we could somehow steal like a lottery pick, a lottery pick would be clutch. But I don't think it's going to happen. We'll see if we can find a point guard out here. If not, we are in kind of a bit of trouble. Not really. Giannis has the ball a lot in his hands. Middleton has the ball a lot. So we'll see. Desperate for a guard. We'll bring in Monty Morris just as our emergency plan. And here we are with both teams. Probably no, no picks this time, right? Yeah, no picks. Oh, okay, so for the Bucks, I literally just signed everybody that I could back. Uh, Jeff Teague needed to come back for trade bait, essentially. Uh, same thing with P.J. Tucker. We're bringing in Theo. We're bringing in Theo. We keep making trades with the Thunder for the Bucks here. And uh, my Blazers look kind of nice already. If I'm being honest, as long as Lillard stays the same, uh, and Fernie Simons is here, and, and Tyrese is going to improve. DeAnthony hopefully improves by himself. The only thing, if he is, if I could get a better small forward out here, he's only 28. 
um nasir little can continue to improve as well but we'll see we'll see what happens uh pressure is going to continue to improve daniel might decline but i have like i'm like too deep in every position uh for the blazers and on the other hand we have monty which is not the best but theo might improve we'll see who starts at shooting guard do we move middleton do we start pokushevsky we got options we got options to that i don't know what to do theo's defense is at a d so probably off the bench and then monty will start middleton at the two pokushevsky at the three as a seven footer and we'll run Giannis and pascal together and we'll do our damn thing another trade for the bucks i'm getting rid of monty right away he his his ceiling is like this maybe he'll reach an 82 maybe i don't know what he'll reach but tyrese higher ceiling most definitely a higher ceiling a 21 year old we're bringing in seth as well for two seasons isaiah pj we don't need um i don't love my team um roberson out here our coach loves defense i don't want to give a 72 overall guy minutes i will start seth just because of his uh stretching ability um i'll see if i can find someone in free agency right now just to fill up the ni the ninth spot that could be at least like a 79 overall or something all right and now we just gotta wait for these but the bad thing is middleton declined one overall i'm hoping he slows down now yes i know he's 30 years old but hopefully please slow down middleton slow down the decline pascal's at an 84 uh, Giannis is at a 97 um i like these three eventually tyrese hopefully is really nice eventually pokushevsky might start at the small forward uh we might trade middleton in the offseason bull bull i still want to keep as well winslow we just signed out there in free agency that cheap guy that i was hoping to find to fill out a spot on my roster i don't like this team as a championship roster this season um of course Giannis gets surprised tyrese gets surprised out of nowhere but i'm waiting on my young guys I have a lot of freaking youth that needs to improve um, while I have an okay starting lineup. Yes, Pascal, all-star, Giannis, MVP, Chris Middleton, all-star, but it's just not enough. The Blazers, on the other hand, I like them a lot more. Lillard at a 94. Vucevic did go down one overall, which also sucked, so hopefully he slows down as well. Precious is at an 82. Tyrese is at an 84. Norman Powell stays the same. TJ McConnell, we signed for the mid-level exception, I believe, which I think will be he'll be doing a lot more than Enferni. So uh Daniel's here and then uh DeAnthony's here as well. So I think I might take away the minutes from and Fernie and giving them to Nasir Little and hopefully he does something with them. And this is the lineup. Of course, we expect Tyrese to continue to improve. We expect Precious to improve. We expect uh, DeAnthony maybe to improve a little bit. Same thing with Nasir. And we'll see. We'll see. This team is a lot deeper. Our up to our 12th man is a 76. So and we have the go Chris Daniel Felicio off the bench. So uh, uh, it's over. It's over for the league. I think the this Portland Trailblazer team is still good. We shall see we shall see i gotta see my proficiency for them i think i'm running balance on the other side with the bucks seven seconds is still great so we're gonna run seven seconds we're gonna have a good offense my bucks my bucks balance is at four stars now oh that improved a little bit okay i will absolutely take that what is seven seconds at okay okay we'll run balance we'll run balance i like it i honestly really like it well i'm gonna keep an eye on these guys i'll see you guys at the end of season number two this challenge is a lot harder than i thought victor Oladipo would have been great on the bucks it would have been beautiful but we see the bucks lose a lot pascal's gotta go yep yep stop it stop it immediately pascal's gotta go we've got to find depth to this team actually middleton might need to go too both of them can go sure i'll take c wood at my ah uh, this hurts this hurt he's only scoring 15 a game what the heck okay we'll take c wood at my center spot sorry middleton you're out of here just because i saw you decline in one season um i do not want the contract of eric gordon i'll take whoever to be honest given a bit of our youth trying to take zach levine and kobe white from the chicago bulls and making this team a lot better we're not getting enough back you could get top three protected nuggets pick you could get our pick and you could get a second rounder what do you guys say they say no they're not getting enough back do they value tyrese a little bit more oh they could still take him in two ah ah zach levine would be in my two i would probably have pokushevsky at my small forward spot Giannis at the fourth uh christian wood at the five no kobe white at my one ah screw it we're going for another start they want a second rounder they want to give me Taj gibson at the moment we need to fix this team we need to fix this team. Kobe White at the one. 
Zach Levine at the two. I will have Giannis or Pokushevsky at the three. And we'll see if this kind of helps. I don't know if it will. Kobe White, Zach Levine, Pokushevsky, Giannis, and Christian Wood. I do like the starting lineup quite a bit more. Pokushevsky hopefully improves in this offseason. And same thing with Kobe White, Zach Levine. We just need to bring him back. Christian Wood is still here for another season, at least should be. Yeah, he's here for another season. Burks is a beast off the bench. The guy could always score, so I'm not worried about that. Um, I am kind of worried about Eric Gordon, even though he's a he's a beast off the bench as well i might go see what i could get for him though um and just see if i could get a big or something because we have a lot of guards small forwards off my bench through it can't really find anything better out here we're running with this squad and hopefully it has improved a bit because right now we are do do we are do do what is seven seconds looking like it's the same as balance so we're gonna run that and coach you better turn it around three and seven Blaze is a five and four. Lillard Halliburton's at an 85. Precious has got to be beast, and he's already tired. I think we'll turn it around. We'll turn it around slowly. I believe I'm in need of defense and offense. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Buddy Healed right here, and we'll try for the best. We'll throw in seconds instead, and hopefully they say yes to me because I don't want to get okay. Two seconds. Buddy Healed on the squad. Derek Jones. Daniel is gone. We'll see what it's looking like, and. Um, I either need defense or offense off my bench because my starters are doing fine. Tyrese is at a B. He's at a B. Precious is at an A inside. Uh, and then he's at a B inside as well. So it's not the worst. Buddy Heald will be my sixth man now. TJ McConnell. Okay. Okay. We'll rock it. We'll rock with it. We'll rock with it. I guess we'll have way too many. Wait, we have way too many guards now. But even more offense off the bench and no defense. Yes, we're trading Nasir. We're trading DeAnthony. We're getting Miles Bridges. We need a big off the bench that's actually getting minutes instead of a bunch of guards. And he's actually the sixth man. Uh... Sure, but he'll like share the exact same minutes as Buddy Healed. Our bench is looking sick now at all 80 overalls. Many, many guards on it still. Give maybe less to Enferni, a little bit more to my starters. Vooch, one more minute. Precious is absolutely balling at the moment. And here we go. Here we go. Will it be enough to improve the team a little bit more? 22 and 15, 19 and 19 for the Bucks. I'm done with this season, man. I'm done with this season. I'll see what I have to do with the offseason. Bring in Zach Levine back for sure. I don't think he's going to be the issue here. We have freaking Giannis, an MVP caliber player. Man, I got work. I got work to do, though. We finished six with the Bucks. That is a yikers. But, I mean, we've seen crazier things happen. We might be able to reach the finals. Embiid, MVP, rookie of the year, Jalen Green, Brandon Clark, sixth man, Jonathan Isaac, defensive player, most improved Malachi, Steve Nash, coach of the year, Cody Toole. Okay. Where did my other guys finish? Giannis all NBA first. Feel bad for him. Feel bad for him. Giannis all defensive second team, and that's it. That's it for everybody. And I mean, fourth overall in Portland. It's just not good enough. I need to go full 82 and 0 mode with these teams and like go for the craziest teams, but I didn't want to do that. Um, I kind of wanted to keep resemble kind of the same team, kind of keep their stars, you know what I'm saying? 51 and 31. What about the Bucks? 46 and 36 not the worst records a lot of teams are good a lot of teams are freaking solid which is probably not helping player stats though Giannis 24 he doesn't even need to score that many points 24 and 11 21 and a half for Zach Levine 16 for Kobe hopefully Kobe continues to improve like I I don't have a problem with the starting lineup 15 and 11 for Christian Wood uh, uh Pokushevsky continues to improve as well he's gonna be just that nice guy a uh, demigod at seven foot 23 and 9 for him Vucevic 20 and 14 rebounds per 36 would be 14.2 Buddy Heald, 17 off the bench. I don't know how much that was actually him off the bench, but 14 for Norman Powell, 13 for Bridges, 9.9 .9 for Tyrese. Uh, Tyrese might need to go, huh? Tyrese might need to go for someone that actually makes a huge impact because he's an 86 overall. We could get some for him. We could get something for him, whether that's more depth, another great starting piece. Uh, it's got to be something. It's got to be something for sure. But because this, uh, there's moves. There's moves to be made, and we're going to make them. We're going to make them. Do we win our first games? We lose to Orlando in the Eastern Conference, but we, we oh, okay, we're 1-1 for both of us. Milwaukee takes the lead. Portland takes the lead. Ah, Milwaukee struggling. Milwaukee struggling. We already made it to the next round. Now to see if Milwaukee can make it to the next round. Simulate game. Yikes, come on. Come on, one more. Make it to the second round for me. Yes, sir. Up against the Lakers. That's a big yikes. Up against a seven seed, though, for Milwaukee. So we got to focus on this over here. 
Of course, they're still going to have, uh, what the hell am I doing? They got Victor Oladipo, LeBron Anthony Davis Drummond. So that's going to be a, a rebounding wise. That is tough. <laughs> that's a tough battle for us. We're going to lose. And uh, the lower seed from this season is probably going to make it further, huh? Oh, Portland. Oh, the Bucks are struggling. Bucks are eliminated. Portland, do they make it to the conference finals? We do. Impressive. Impressive week. I don't think we would have beat Brooklyn anyways with the Milwaukee Bucks, but here we are with Portland making it to the finals. Now we got to do it again. Now we got to do it again for the following season. It doesn't matter if we win. <laughs> we just both have to make it. Both our teams have to make it. Even though uh, Damian Lillard is out here fighting for a championship with Nikola Vucevic as well. No way. No way. One more game. Do we... At, that's a consolation prize for now. Precious is the finals MVP. Not Lillard, not Vucevic. Precious. Alrighty then. Now to make the moves to make sure the Bucks can get there. Clearly, the Portland Trailblazers can get there. Hopefully, Lillard does not decline too badly, please. Same thing with Vooch. Time to revamp our entire bench for the Milwaukee Bucks. Kendrick Nunn is an offensive is an offensive freak off the bench. Eric Gordon, same thing, right? But Eric Gordon most likely going to decline. We're giving up a second rounder for this one, and we're saving a little bit of money here, so maybe we'll be able to use it in free agency for somebody else. But, of course, we got to go to Seth Curry. Seth Curry most likely going to keep declining. So if we got to get a pick... First rounder, second rounder, I'll take that for now. For now, at the very moment. And then we got to trade Burks as well. He's 31 years old. We could add that. We could add that. Do we need to? Probably not. Kevin Love added to the team. I think I need my cap space at the moment. So I'm not going to go too overboard. Jordan Clarkson is a freak off the bench too. He is a freak off the bench. Not only that, we get a lottery protected pick right back. Hopefully, he doesn't decline too much in this offseason. And we'll have two offensive monsters off my bench. I think I'm going to take that. Contract's not too crazy. I'm taking that for sure. And I guess we go make sure our young guys are back. And then make sure Zach Levine is back too. The 76ers are willing to get rid of Ben Simmons if we get rid of Norman Powell and Tyrese. Tyrese will most likely go up on the 76ers to maybe like a 15 to 18 point score with a lot of assists. So, we're letting him free. We're letting Tyrese go free. Ben Simmons, a defensive player of the year candidate. Uh, switch him to small forward. He'll be a freak. And uh, I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do to secure that we get to the finals. I'm hoping uh, Vucevic does not decline. Lillard goes down. Oh, no. Where's Vuc oh, Vucevic is right there. He's still an 86 overall. He does go down in a lot of areas. Lillard goes down too. Good thing I brought in Ben Simmons. <laughs> Hopefully he can take over some playmaking ability. I don't know. Lillard, just focus on scoring whatever you can do at the moment. Precious goes up to an 84. Bridges an 83. 80 buddy healed. McConnell goes down. And Fernie goes up one. And Isaiah goes up one. So we'll see what the lineup is looking like. Giannis goes up one. Zach Levine still here. Christian Wood still here. Kobe White still here. Not the most improvements I'd like to see. Pokushevsky is nice. Kendrick Nunn we just got. Jordan Clarkson we just got. And uh, our bench still needs work. Our bench still needs work. Trying to trade for a difference maker with the Bucks. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to do something. I know Christian Wood gone would hurt. Jordan Clarkson gone would hurt too. So I'm going to see if I could actually throw in Kendrick Nunn instead. I can't. Okay, I can't. It's fine. We'll throw in Clarkson. Christian Wood, Kobe White. That's a lot of 80s for a 90 overall. That's what I'm trying to do here. I want to see if they say yes, they say no. I don't want to give up two first. We have to do it. If it's not, it's a bust. It's a bust. It's a bust. I don't know what else to throw in here. Stanley Johnson with some value. There you guys go. Okay. Okay. we are start from here. We got De'Aaron Fox. We got Zach Levine. We got Pokushevsky. We got Giannis. Alex Len is not a bad uh, just throw in center at the moment. I will see free agency right now just in case we have something. Just in case somebody wants to come to the team. Okay, okay. We got one. We got one. I will take that. If there is another, I will take him as well. And we will go from there. I don't think there's anybody else. I don't think there's anybody else. James Ennis. Whoops. Abdel Nader. Abdel Nader. Minimum contract. They have accepted. We need a trade pieces. We need trade pieces to improve this bench. Uh, none I will try to keep. If not, if I could get like multiple pieces back for him, that would be cool. Um, not the worst team right now, um, but it needs to be a lot better. PJ Washington, a little improvement. I don't know how much better he would be. Yeah, I'll take PJ Washington. It's just better than what we have right now when we just got to make sure 
We just continue to slowly, slowly improve, add improvements. We have three 90s, one close to a 99 overall. So we gotta, gotta do something. We gotta do something. Now we got an 80 and 80. Now we see if we can find at least one more decent piece out here. All right, Willie Cauley Stein and Utah Watanabe for Hassan Whiteside at a 79 overall. Still, they have agreed he's either gonna be my starter or Alex Land. Whiteside right now is my starter. By the end of the season, he might be an 80 overall. Um, slowly but surely, getting an okay bench, and now we need one more. Just one more if we can find one. Well, try. I'm, I'm going to cheese now. I'm going to cheese now. Uh, we're going to accept this. Add the accept. Oh, God damn it. Why can't I just curry up and say yes? Okay. We're going to add Drew. And then we're gonna, what we're going to do with Drew is we're going to make him a power forward. He goes up to an 81. And then we go flip him. We go flip Drew. Oof. We could have quickly on the squad. We're adding quickly. Okay. What the heck? New York, you're dumb. And here we are. I've tried my best. I think I flipped it into something decent now. Fox, Levine, Pokushevsky, Giannis, Hassan Whiteside, decent starting five. Then we have quickly off the bench, PJ Washington off the bench, and Kendrick Nunn. That's a really solid bench. That's a really solid bench offensively. Defensively, I don't know what's quickly at defensive-wise. A C. <laughs> yeah, defensively, there's none. There's no defense off my bench. Len, what? He's at a B plus. That's okay. That's okay. We will take that. Um, 390s, though. 390s. You guys see my Portland Trailblazer team, though. They're looking nice, too. Lillard, Buddy Heald now is my starting shooting guard. Simmons is at my small forward. If you guys forgot, yes, we got Simmons. Precious is at my four. Vucevic at my five still. Bridge is an 83. Simons uh, is an 81. Uh, TJ McConnell in 80. And then a 77 Isaiah. So, got to make it to the finals this time. The Blazers won the championship last season. Now, we just got to get there with the freaking Bucks in the Eastern Conference, please. Efficiency-wise, seven seconds. Is there anything? Nothing's better. Nothing's better. So, we're running seven seconds for probably both of them. Um, we're with the Blazers now. System proficiency. Yes, I have Mike D'Antoni out here now. Um, we didn't fire our coach. He was just released. Like he, uh, His contract expired, and I didn't bother looking for Terry Stotts. So, I kind of just went with Mike D'Antoni and... And uh, Mike D'Antoni wanted to start Bridges, which it makes sense. Bridges could stretch the floor. Precious, in the video game at least, doesn't shoot at all. Let's keep our eye out on the Milwaukee Bucks. One win there, two wins. Come on. Stack up the wins, and I'll, then I'll go look at the Portland Trailblazers. Fix roster uh, automatically. Fill out, please. I'll just manually. I will adjust that. How are we looking right now? We're looking okay. My Bucks are 4-1. and one. I mean, not my Bucks. My Portland Trailblazers. So... Hopefully, uh, my Bucks could step it up, and it looks like they kind of are. We finally have... Oh, please. Please finish number one on both sides. Again. Wait, we finished number two our first season. Second season was kind of iffy. Oh, yes. We're there. The trade for De'Aaron Fox, and then the other moves that I made. Uh, it was a lot of moves, man. It was a lot of moves, but we had it had to be done. If I want to make the finals in the same year... Okay, we're good there. We're good there. What are we doing? 23 and 7 there. Woo! Okay, pick it up, pick it up. We're going to finish at least top two in both conferences. Power rank one, conference rank one, and I think if it stayed the same, the Bucks should be power rank two, conference rank one as well. Kevin Durant wins an MVP uh, over there in Brooklyn. I've never seen that. That's been, that's kind of cool. Julio Sullivan made up rookie of the year. I'm pretty sure Cole Anthony, sixth man of the year. Jonathan Isaac, defensive player. Most approved, Cade Cunningham with the Spurs. Mike D'Antoni, 63 and 19. 63 and 19 with my Blazers. Yes, sir. Giannis, All-NBA first team. Giannis, All-Defensive team as well. Uh, is there anybody Yes, Nobody. Whoa, DeAnthony made a freaking defensive team. Number one, number one, and then, yes, power rank two for the Milwaukee Bucks. This is our best chance. Player stats for our team. Zach Levine is the leading score for the Bucks at 26. Uh, 23 for De'Aaron Fox. 22 and a half for Giannis. The 390s. The 390s. The three guys that are hoping to get to the finals. Pokushevsky, 16. Great stretch three, stretch four. Whatever you want to call them. Quickly off the bench and scoring 10. 8 for PJ. 8 for Kendrick Nunn. Per 36 would be 16. Per 36 would be 14. Per 36 for quickly would be 14. So, not horrible. Len. 14 and a half and 11 if we were running them 36 minutes. White side, nine rebounds, a block and a half. Not the worst, I guess. He's not getting too many minutes. And then now we go to the Blazers, 25 and 10 for our boy Damian. 19 and 9.7 for our boy Precious. 16 for Ben Simmons, 9.6 assists for him. So two guys averaging 10 assists. One getting two steals a game. Six and a half boards, 11 for Vooch. His scoring went down, down. 
but that's because he's got other players on his team buddy healed scoring 16 as a starter shooting 40 percent bridges 16 off my bench hey that's pretty disgusting uh and fernie scoring 10 off my bench as well so i switch him over to shooting guard that's why he's an 83 overall uh mcconnell does a little bit of everything and isaiah the last guy off of that bench wow um and then this is how good you have to be look at this starting lineup they're 87 84 81 a 93 and 86 and 86 off the bench and 82 off the bench this is how good you got to be to make an eight to be the eighth seed Minnesota, on the other hand, is good too. 88, 88, so two almost 90s, and then 88 Carnathan Towns. Like, they got three 88s, almost three 90s, and they're in eighth seed on both sides. It's time to see if we can both make it. Uh, let's just simulate game by game. Okay, we lose a game to the... It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough regardless. I'm hoping Minnesota is the easier one out there, and then we both make it to the second second round complete. Second round complete. Now we see what we got to go up against. Uh, okay, Luca and probably Porzingis still out there. Daniel Tice, Kawhi Leonard, and still Kristaps. Okay, they got a nice little big three. Um, I think our team might be better top to bottom. Who do we even want to verse? I think I might want to verse the Lakers, if I'm being honest. Uh, Boston is who we're up against now. Kemba, Jalen, Jason. Okay. Uh, Theo, McCollum, Pat Williams will probably want to verse the, the Bulls, right? Even though, I mean, anybody. They're, they're not good either. Okay, let's just get to the conference finals. I'm scared of Dallas. I'm scared of Dallas because of Kawhi Leonard. Milwaukee goes up 2-0. Okay, okay, we're both 2-1. We're both 2-1. Both 2-2. Two, two. Yes, one more game for both of them. One more game for both of them. Frick. Okay, Dallas. Ben Simmons guarded by Kawhi Leonard. Uh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Our rebounding's got to be good. Our sharp shooting's got to be good. One more game. Thank you. It should be easier for my Bucks to get there, right? The problem is this New Orleans team on the, in the Western Comp. Oh, shoot. The Bulls took a game, please. Oh, 2-0 for Portland, though. 2-0 for Portland. Come on. Go up 3-1. Yes. Yes. It's done. The challenge is done. The challenge is done. Back-to-back -back finals for Portland. And now we see who wins this matchup. I mean, Lillard versus Fox. Buddy versus Zach Levine. Ben Simmons versus uh, Pokushevsky. Both seven-footers. I mean, he's 6'10", 6 6'11". 6 so, yeah, pretty much two seven-footers as small forwards there. Buddy Heald versus Zach. I'd obviously take Zach. Lillard versus old Lillard, by the way. 32-year-old Lillard versus a, like, prime De'Aaron Fox. So, uh, it's up in the air. Of course, we'd go Giannis over Precious. And then Whiteside gets beat by Vucevic. Until both my teams make it to the finals. It took me three seasons. It was honestly, I thought it might have taken me longer. Portland is the better team by far on my squad. I mean, on, from these two. From these two, Damian Lillard gets his finals MVP and he finishes with two championships, by the way. Like I was saying, though, drop that like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.